to talk a lot. Some don't talk a lot. And I'm not going to get back to where we talk about that in the same time. And he was telling me about one, it's not a member, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a baby, a baby dad who was a member of the church. And he had an asthmatic attack. It seems.
jumps up before he goes. But the key to walking is they just to this is stop it before it gets there. They were all words of property. As an example, when the day I stopped at the treasure out on the 54th of Lake Park, I picked up a few things. I went to my car, took the basket to my car, and it's a big park of mine. I was taking the basket back to the front of the store that we had in the car to drive. There was a lady driving toward me, and she kept slowing down and speeding up because she was looking for a parking space, but she didn't seem like she was sure where she wanted to go. So finally, I walked across the front of her. She almost hit me. I just kept looking at the bottom and was concerned about it. I took the basket back. When I was coming back, apparently she had found us in the park. She was walking down the same aisle I was walking back to my car. And she told me, you need to be careful where you walk. I couldn't get you. I choked down. When I started to say, because she was, she was probably my age or close to me. And I could see her walking to the church one day. So I choked out her on the sand said, this. If you had hit me, you would have been wrong. Left it. And I turned and walked away. She decided she had to continue the conversation. You need to be more careful. My second shot was to say a few things. I shot. I said, you need to check your driver's education because the pedestrians always have the right one. I turned around and walked her, left her talking to us. I reiterated to her that if she had hit me, she would have been. And if she had hit me, I'm not sure I could have stopped that out from jumping out. I might have lived over and beat her. But anything I could find, I am a work in progress. I tell you all that all the time. I got my car and drove off, but I was thinking about how different my response would have been 20 years ago. So I was saying, I was saying, but I guess I wasn't that saying. Saying is like I feel filled the Holy Ghost and quick to say a few words. Pastor Tony can tell you all about my profession, so I might know what he's I haven't always been in control. I'll tell you about a few instances. Judas a piece of bread. 
then he suggests that you go out and check on the food for the poor, knowing that Jesus, Judas is going to betray him. Love. When he was gone with being Judas, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you can find me. A new command I give to you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. It's interesting to me that this, this command was given to the disciples after the betrayal was not He didn't want Judas to have the knowledge the others had. There were ten lepers that were people for Jesus. Only one came back to say thank you. And God gave him a revelation. Jesus gave him something that the nine who didn't say thank you didn't know. Because Jesus told him, your faith has made you whole. So his faith had made him whole. So he got something the other nine didn't get. It. Other disciples got something Judas didn't get. It's the same thing that Jesus says in the New Man. So it wasn't a new commandment, but it was very old. Leviticus 19, 18 says, Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against one of your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. I think Jesus called it a new commandment to emphasize the importance of the same. So we talk all the time, if you love, you don't kill. If you love, you don't steal. If you love, you don't give false words. You can't lie about something. You love, you love God. If you love, you honor your parents. Talk about the Ten Commandments. This one commandment overrides all. Because if you love, you're allowed to walk out of the darkness of this world. It's interesting to me that the response of reading they talk about love. They talk about light and darkness. The message that they talk about love. It talks about light and darkness. That's the one of the parents. It just happens so often. Word. God has a word for his people. Today that word is not like light and darkness. First John 2, 7 through 11 says, Dear friends, I am not writing you a new command, but an old one which you have had from the beginning. This old command is a message you have heard, yet I am writing you a new command. Its truth is seen in him and you because the darkness is past, and the true light is already shown. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light, and there is nothing in him to make him stumble. But whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. He does not know where he is going because the darkness is light. We talk a lot about light and darkness. All you love is a horror from hell to see him left in the monsters and run his toes in the dark. Noon on a bright sunny day, it's always at night in the darkness. The Bible is full of representations of light and darkness. Light represents goodness, truth and holiness, while darkness represents evil and falseness. The true light referred to is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The light of the world is the gospel of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 2 9 says, But you are a chosen people. Royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. And we talk about light and we talk about darkness. John 3 19 says, This is the verdict. Light. Everybody knows John 3 16. Don't you? Read further from there. This is the light verdict. Light has come into the world. But men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. When I was talking about earlier, God shows himself to you. Realize, yeah, that God has done it all. It's 
so many years of the from David the Baptist Church, we used to march in the sanctuary, sing and walk in the light. Beautiful. Okay, the two months of mercy shine bright, shine all around us. By day and by night, Jesus. By the Lord. John 8, 12 says, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. We will have the light of life. Jesus is the light of the world. I don't know, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is a love chapter. I commend you all read it at some point. It tells you a lot about what love is and what love is not. But you need to read it in a quiet time. You need to read it when you're going through something. You need to read it when you're having difficulty with people you ask to love. You need to read it when you're confused about any relationship. I'm an old man. The scripture says my mother was young. I can't remember the name. I'm an old man. So I can speak with the Lord about certain things. We spend much of our lives seeking direction. Of some sort. We're always looking for some direction in our lives. There's so much that confounds and confuses us and the system seek the direction God has for us. There's so much and accept this that is beyond your understanding. And things you will never understand. I told my foundations class this morning, you will never understand that. But if you can understand who you are, I don't want to serve a God I can understand. I don't want to serve a God that doesn't know any more than I know. And that's a pretty important thing. People closest to you will hurt you the most. That's another observation. People you don't care about can't hurt you because they don't have any power. People you love will hurt you. If we keep that new command that Jesus gave us to love one another, if we truly love one another, we can walk out of the darkness of the world and walk into the glorious light of Jesus Christ. No matter what your situation, you can walk out of it. But you got to have faith. 1 Peter 4, 7 through 8 says, The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear minded and self controlled so that you can pray. Above all, love each other deeply. It is the important part because love covers a multitude of sins. There's your payback for love. You know the fact you don't feel better, there's your payback. Love covers a multitude of sins. We all have. Yeah.